Hi, my name is uh, Neve Daly. I am a consultant obstetrician and gynaecologist at the Rotunda Hospital. And my PhD research was in part on exercise in pregnancy. There are a few if you don't know what you're doing. For the most part, exercise has a lot of benefits for women, um, including improving your fitness, your mood, your quality of life, your preparation for carrying a heavy pregnancy and going through the long process that can be labor. Um, but there are a certain number of people who should probably consult their doctor before exercising. Um, there are a number of reasons that you absolutely should not exercise. Um, and here are just a few of them. If you are actively bleeding during pregnancy, if you have uh, ruptured your membranes, um, if you have a history of very high blood pressure that isn't very well controlled, if you have any of the following, you should probably consult your doctor. Uh, heart condition, respiratory condition, um, a previous miscarriage or a previous preterm birth. Um, then you should talk to a doctor about whether you should exercise or not and what level of exercise you should be doing. How much exercise should you be doing? Uh, the recommendation in Ireland is that you should exercise 30 minutes a day, five times a week, so 150 minutes a week. And you can divide that into different blocks if you want. Um, blocks of at least 10 minutes count as exercise that will contribute to your health and you can break it up during the week whatever way you can. Um, what I usually say to women is that they should work it into their own routine. So if you can walk a little bit further to the bus stop, if you can walk instead of driving, if you can incorporate it into your daily life, for example, if you have children like I do and you are standing on the side of a pitch, instead of standing stationary, try and walk a few laps of the pitch if you can. Um, there's lots of ways where you can incorporate exercise into your routine where it's not necessarily scheduled or a class. In early pregnancy um, and throughout pregnancy, women produce a hormone called relaxin, and this is a hormone which is designed to loosen the ligaments of the pelvis so that during childbirth, the pelvis can widen enough for a baby to pass through. And relaxin is one of the reasons that some exercises are restricted in early pregnancy and throughout pregnancy. Some of those include um, plyometric exercise such as jump bo box jumps, jumping up onto a box where you would land heavily on your knees. And exercise is really safe. It improves your health in so many ways. So I would encourage everyone to exercise as long as they don't have any of the reasons that you shouldn't exercise. Um, lots of exercises that you should consider in early pregnancy would include walking, swimming, Pilates, pelvic floor exercises, they're a good place to start. If you're already exercising to a high level, if you're an elite athlete, an army cadet, and um, if you lift weights already, then um, there's no proof that continuing this during your pregnancy will harm you or your pregnancy. What I would say to women doing um, more elite levels of exercise is make sure you do your pelvic floor exercises and try not to improve your personal bests. Just maintain your fitness. There's no need to increase um, the number of weights that you're lifting or the, the weight that you're lifting um, or the distance that you're running. Um, other than that, exercise is safe in early pregnancy and there's a few things that you need to do in order to make sure that it is safe for you. The first thing I would say is listen to your body. So if you are feeling sick, feeling faint, that's probably a sign that you shouldn't be doing as much as you're doing. Secondly, there is a thing called the talk test, and this is where you should be able to talk throughout your exercise. If you're not able to talk the whole way through the exercise that you're doing, then you're doing it too vigorously or you're doing too much. Um, and the third thing is don't overheat, and the fourth is don't get dehydrated. They're the main rules, and if you carry um, out your exercise according to these rules, you'll exercise safely. There are so many benefits to exercising during pregnancy. Um, 
The first is that it improves your fitness or maintains your fitness during pregnancy. This can pay off when you are in labour or when you are trying to recover from the childbirth. Having an extra level of fitness will help you recover from that process. And the second benefit would be that it helps you sleep. It's been proven in studies to improve your quality and duration of sleep, particularly for women who find it difficult to sleep. Um, it has been proven to improve your quality of life as women self-report. Um, it has benefits for women's mental health um, and particularly for women with anxiety or depression who struggle with those. It can be very difficult and it can be very difficult to stay motivated to exercise. So it's really important to leave your shoes by the door, just stick them on and go, don't let your head make any excuses. Um, other benefits are that you will improve your fitness for, um, I've already said that, sorry. Other benefits include that you might make friends. Um, certainly doing a class where there are other women, particularly prenatal exercise classes, for example, Pilates or yoga, you will make friends probably at the same level of pregnancy and have someone to hang out with after you have your baby. If you're feeling tired in your pregnancy, it's a good idea to check in either with your GP or your midwife or your obstetrician. And there are a few things that we would look out for if women are complaining of fatigue during their pregnancy. And one of those would be iron deficiency anemia. And um, if you don't have enough iron in your diet, then you might be low on iron in your system and this can make you feel really tired. And if you're anemic, it's not a good idea to be exercising to a high level because your body won't be able to supply your body with the oxygen that you need in order to exercise and you will feel even more tired. So if you um, get checked out, go and see someone and make sure that there's no reason for that tiredness, and um, that's a good idea. But you will probably find if nothing is found in those tests and if you exercise, you might invigorate yourself and find yourself having more energy. good for you, you're already fit and I love that. I think it's a really good idea for women who are already fit to not lose that part of themselves when they're exercising during pregnancy. It can be very much a part of your identity and it can be what keeps you sane. So for women who are already weightlifting, women who are already running marathons, it's really important to listen to your body. Um, as I mentioned, you shouldn't be overheating or getting dehydrated. If you feel sick or unwell during your exercise, you need to slow down and your body will tell you and you'll know when you need to slow down. Um, there are heart rate targets depending on your age and that can be something that your coach can discuss with you. Um, and the other thing is that you shouldn't overheat. So make sure you keep cool during your training sessions so that you can keep that up. Um, and as I said, if you're weightlifting, no plyometric movements because your relaxing hormone will increase the risk of injury and your coach should know about that. If you're overweight or obese and you're worried about starting exercise in pregnancy, please don't. Often pregnancy can be a moment where you take stock and you may want to make a change to your own lifestyle. And this is as good a time as any to start. Um, I would advise if you have been sedentary and you haven't started exercising in a long time, just to start with five or 10 minute bouts and give yourself a chance. You're not going to be running marathons during this pregnancy, but you're definitely going to see small changes in your fitness tolerance and in your ability to walk distances. I would start with walking, maybe join a class, it's a good idea for anyone who is pregnant to meet with a physiotherapist so that they can go through the way that they move their pelvic floor and particularly if you're overweight or um, having challenges with your weight it's a good idea to check in with someone who will be able to show you how to move correctly and um, but i would say go for it start your exercise program and just make sure that you don't have any of the reasons that you shouldn't exercise and another thing is during pregnancy and um, if you're overweight there are a number of risks for you and for your baby, including high blood pressure, diabetes, um, and a number of other conditions. And exercise has been shown to reduce the risk of blood pressure during pregnancy for women who are overweight and to reduce the risk of diabetes, or at least to reduce the level of treatment that you require during pregnancy. So I would say, go for it.